After hearing this news, I only got one thing to say. There better be some psychotic bears in this. Oh, and I just wet myself. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Tell me something, are you anticipating the next Danganronpa slash Zero Escape entry into the series? Tired of waiting for it though? Fearing it may never come? Then this is the video for you. Believe it or not, we are now in the year 2020 and the PlayStation Vita is going to be getting a spiritual successor to the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series? Holy cow! Or heavily inspired games, however you want to say it. Oh yes, I am being 100% serious here. Let's get on to the info. This comes from PlayStationLifestyle.net and it goes as such. Top Hat Studios has announced that it has signed a publishing deal with developer Herumu656 to release Danganronpa and Zero Escape inspired thriller Thieves Roulette on the PlayStation 4 and PS Vita among other platforms. The game which was funded on Kickstarter back in 2018 was originally in development for the Nintendo Switch and PC, but of course now we know it's coming to Vita. Thieves Roulette is a choice-driven visual novel with first-person puzzle gameplay. The story is set in a futuristic high-tech society where characters face the challenges of betrayal, deception, and trust. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This has Danganronpa written all over it. Players' decisions will determine who they befriend or face off throughout their journey. The features will include as such a gripping story of deception. Who you choose to align with may either lead to your death or your survival. Huh, kind of like choosing friends in real life. Heavy play player choices that can alter the path of the story, multiple endings, immersive and interactive puzzles to solve, a natural approach to difficulty, any time during a puzzle you may ask your teammates for help. Players who want to take on the challenge with no clues however, can simply not ask for assistance. Cause we Vita players, we got pride. Fully explorable 3D environments and visual novel style artwork. A cast of unique characters with their own goals and personalities. Some are only out for themselves, others may have your back when the time comes. Unlike the real life if your name is James. <coughs> <coughs> Any people out there named James feel that way too? Uh. A PC demo and updated trailer will release on January 29th. A release date for the full game has yet to be announced, though it is expected to be coming out September 2020. Thieves Roulette will release digitally and this is a huge twist. I'm not even 100% sure how they're gonna accomplish this and I must brace myself for saying this, but physical copies for the PC and PlayStation Vita will be available via backer kit. At the moment, there are no plans for a physical release on the PS4 and Switch. Aha! Take that, systems that are not PlayStation Vita. What? Seriously? We're gonna be possibly getting a physical release for this game as well? I'm just lost for words, guys. This is the year 2020, right? I'm pinching my cheek right now. I think it's the year 2020. And we're getting a Danganronpa spiritual successor to our handheld or visually inspired game, however you want to word it. <sighs> <sighs> Too much epicness in one day. Now there is one snafu I should mention to you all, which will probably change knowing my luck the day after this video goes up, but at the time of this video's recording, the backer kit pre-orders are disabled. And we think we might just know the reason for this. Due to my brilliant detective work, i.e. me looking it up on Twitter, according to Top Hat Studios, and I quote, There seems to have been an accident here. The backer kit should not have been open yet. I'm working with the developer to get this resolved. Now I will of course leave you all of the necessary links down in the description below, but just be aware of that. And I guess it goes without saying for those of you who are only interested in the digital version, well you just have to wait for the digital version. I'll also have a link there to their official Kickstarter, though keep in mind that that's only for the Nintendo Switch and PC versions of the game. But what the hey, I'll still leave it down there for you. Yeah, whew. Not only are we getting a spiritual successor to one of the two most epic murder mystery games of all time, but we're also having a chance at a physical release for it? The world could just blow up right now. Well, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people, including Jace Bellerin, Neo Arashi, Reiko Starr, Matt Fox, BMF, Ruben Gutierrez, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Theory, Pierce Sterner, Erock, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Larry Anderson, Mario Cruz, Jelle, 
Buzz Sayin, Richard Cruz, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, and David Ray. For those who would be interested in supporting the channel and getting their names on this lovely list as you see here, check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do so in the area that I just said like five seconds ago. Well, guess it's about high time I changed my underwear. What an experience!